Mitch, what's the story with this? How old is it? Why did you buy it? This is my personal Synology NAS. This is a DS918 Plus that I purchased on, is it Febru February or February? Yes. So that I purchased on February 1st, 2018. Mm -hmm. And I have four... What's the warranty on it? Uh, three years. So till February 2021. Right. Mi missed it by that no by that much well what i found out was when i came home the power light am i this side or this side i guess it's this side right mm -hmm. here it was flashing on and off and i went ooh, that can't be good i thought that that might uh, you know my uh my home might have had a power die or something like that but power. then us but usually then it shuts itself off and you have to then physically turn it back on correct mm -hmm. yeah so the power button has a blue LED. It was flashing. I'm like, that can't be good. Went and Googled it, and there were two options. They said either the motherboard in here is bad or the power supply might be bad. And I will tell you, chat, that um, when, the blue, when the blue LED was flashing, on this power brick, you can't see it, but there's a little diode here that's green and as that was flashing this little diode here I keep calling it a diode it's yeah. a light emitting diode it's yeah. an led led was going like this and i think it's because on the back of this i can show you there are two fans and the fans would spin for maybe five seconds stop for maybe five then oh. spin for five seconds and i think that had to do with that doing this well, let's, let's see the problem, Mitch. Let's see if Mitch is making up stuff. All right, the light is green. It is not flickering, like you said. Okay. This connector only goes in one way. Don't bend it. <laughs> okay. New. Now the light is flickering. And so is this. Let's so, turn it around. Let's turn it around. So we haven't even done anything, and the power light is blinking. Ooh, look at that. Just blinks a couple times, it shuts off. Okay, well, it's not your imagination. That's Thank exactly you. what he described. Tried. Okay. Again, this is a 918 plus. Yep. Now, I'm curious if the, this is a 920 plus, and I'm curious if the uh, power supply is the same, because we'll, we need to check that right. first. Yes. So here's our brick. Does this have the same connector? It does. Let's try this first. So if this fixes the problem, we can go on eBay or Amazon. Mm -hmm. We can actually order just the power supply. We don't have to get it from Synology. Give it some juice. Oh, this is interesting, Mitch. It was flashing slow before, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I guess we could put the drives back in and try. Yeah, it's powering up. Give me, give me the drive on top. Okay, all the drives are back in. <laughs> I'm very nervous. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Right. We'll plug this back in. I don't know why it fires up like that, but let it initialize. Man, I was getting ready to take this thing apart, and I thought, oh, I better, I better do the easy thing first. Both fans are spinning. It's mm -hmm. a good sign. It, it definitely, it's making a sound now. Before, it wasn't making any sound. Right. Now... It takes a minute for it to boot, and then we should start hearing the drives wind up. Yep. And then, then you'd see the drive lights. The light's not breathing on the power brick, right? It's, it's solid. It's Whereas steady. before yep. it was pulsing. Right. It takes a while, Mr. Impatient. Mm. Deep cleansing breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I mean, the drives are chattering. Something's happening. Oh, here it goes. You were right. It does take a while to boot up. Mm -hmm. See all the lights light up? Now, now the light's st steady. There you go. Okay. Okay. Well, what do you think? I think we got it solved. <laughs> there. There's our beep. That's good to go. Mitch is beaming like a new day. They, they beep when, because they don't have a monitor. So the only way you know when it's ready is when it, it, it gives you a beep, right? Because you don't. there's no way to plug a monitor into this. It's mm -hmm. uh, web-based, web-controlled. So... In any event, that was a fast diagnosis. It was easy. A power brick is an easy solution. The problem is we can't get one for about a week. There's no prime shipping on Amazon for them. We can order one from Synology, but the complaints are they take forever to receive. 
So you might have had a brownout or a power spike while you were away, and it just happened when you left. And you know, hopefully, I, you got it on a good surge. I always protector. thought of when I was near it, my magnetic personality. You know, <laughs> so that's been wiping out a lot of magnetic media. <laughs> yeah, that a, a router. A yeah. All right, let's see what's going on. Account security right. default is vulnerable. They don't like you using admin, admin. as a login name. But you, you kept yours, right? Uh, I shut down see. improperly. Detail. Power failure. Yep. Okay. You'll see it is verifying the drives in the background. You're 59% okay. usage for used drives. Okay. Um, we can learn about the volume, verifying drives in the background so that it's only at less than a third of 1%. This is going to run all night. So we will have to interrupt it before we send you home, but we'll let it go, do what it's going to do. Um, but you can continue to use the NAS while it's performing this. That's the beauty of it. So when you get it home... Or I leave it here and pick it up tomorrow. It's I not that important. You could just take it home and plug it in and... and it'll rescrub. Yeah, it'll, it'll start where it yep, left off. That's what it's designed to do.